Good morning. Uh, at about uh, 10 to 3 this morning, uh, police responded to a report of shots fired in the vicinity of uh, the Five Ways at Albion. Responding uniformed crews attended the uh, intersection of Frodsham Street and uh, Lucy Street at Albion, which happens to be the uh, location of the Rebels uh, Motorcycle Club clubhouse. Uh, there, the uniformed police discovered a number of spent shell casings on the road, um, saw some damage to the clubhouse and uh, secured a crime scene. Uh, from there, there's not a great deal of further information. Uh, scenes of crime are processing the scene. Uh, investigations are being carried out, but there is some damage to the uh, Rebels clubhouse. Somewhere in the vicinity of 30. We're still looking into that, but it appears not at this stage. Again, we've got no idea about that. We've got no eyewitnesses. Uh, but again, uh, we will ap appeal to anybody who's got any information or anybody saw anything to, uh, to call Crime Stoppers or the Hendra CIB. There was um, a car that was on the road. Did it have bits and pieces? We're still looking into that. Was a flag targeted in the attack? I'm sorry? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. I believe it's a high-powered semi-automatic rifle. Is there any description of the people involved, or cars, or vehicles? No, like I said, I've got no eyewitness to the incident, and again, we make an appeal to anybody who does know anything or saw anything to come forward. We are not sure. The spread of the shell casings on the road indicates that there, there probably was some movement involved and it wasn't just from the, the one location. So we, we suspect that uh, a, a motor vehicle was used. Pretty highly residential area there too. Obviously people living quite close. Have you ever concerned that this is happening in those sorts of streets? It's always a concern when uh, an irresponsible criminal activity like this is carried out that a stray projectile may uh, cause some un unintended damage to uh, people or injury to persons. Is anyone inside the apartment? No, we believe not. We're looking at uh, all avenues. Uh, we're not we're not narrowing it down or blaming anybody at this stage. But you are looking into the other Not particularly. No, we're, we're going to be uh, treating this as a completely separate incident, and we'll be investigating this incident alone, and as, as thoroughly as we can. And you're not investigating the No, there's no indication there's any connection with that. Have you been in contact with the rebels today? Yes, we have. Uh, very cooperative. Um, they are uh, obviously shocked at, at the attack, but they're uh, they're assisting us. No, not of monetary value, but there are um, windows and doors, um, mainly glass, has been smashed, and there obviously are some holes in the in the uh, building. But uh, at the moment, our scenes of crime are still processing the scene. Um, my name is Gary Watts. I'm the Detective Inspector in charge of Task Force Hydra. Um, in relation to your specific uh, question, um, we're obviously uh, concerned about events of this nature. The discharge, this discharge of a firearm in a public place is always a cause for concern for police and also with the community. Um, as uh, Graham has said, we'll be certainly looking at uh, any links to any other uh, investigations we are currently un undertaking, but at this stage there's no links to suggest uh, that this offence is linked to any other offences involving other outlaw motorcycle gangs at present, but that's something that we'll be looking at. Um, look, there's certainly no suggestion that the Bandidos outlaw motorcycle gang has any involvement in this uh, offence uh, that occurred uh, earlier this morning. Um, and as for offences escalating, look, I don't believe so. Um, but um, certainly don't want to resolve from the fact that offences of these nature are a cause for concern for police and also as a cause for concern for the community. Well, uh, as Graham said, the uh, discharge of a firearm in a public place is always a concern. Um, you know, the, 
the chances of lateral damage or collateral damage to, uh, to persons and, uh, and other areas is a concern. Um, certainly, uh, we don't know the motive behind this attack, so it's a little bit hard, a little bit early to, to suggest that we're concerned about reprisals, and, uh, and hopefully we'll be un able to uncover uh, if there is a motive for this attack. Where do you start with this sort of crime? It's classically very difficult to get information. How do you, how do you approach this? Well, that's right. Uh, outlaw motorcycle gangs, by their very nature, are, are usually uh, not very cooperative with law enforcement agencies, so there's a difficulty there. Um, but we, we approach it like any other investigation. Um, in conjunction with uh, the Hendra CIB Task Force, Hydra uh, is engaged in this investigation and we'll be uh, looking at speaking to as many sources and as many people as we possibly can uh, in an attempt to uncover uh, the motive behind it. Just to add to that, the um, motorcycle riders aren't the only ones that know something. Uh, there's always somebody who, who's driving past or walking past that sees something uh, it's these people that saw something or know something that we'd like to speak to. The um, we believe that it was a semi-automatic, which can be fired at a very, very fast, uh, fast rate of knots. So um, we believe that the whole incident probably would have only taken a couple of seconds. Yeah, well, we're still investigating the trajectory. We, we uh, have only just started the internal examination of the building, and it's, it's from there that we'll be able to gauge where the shots come from. At some time when we've concluded the investigation, yes. The the members are, are very, very cooperative, and uh, it's, it's been with their with their cooperation that we've been allowed into the building. No, I haven't seen inside yet, and like I said, the, the examination's only just come in.